Los Angeles. We're back. Quick flight down here. I forgot, but I was reminded Wednesday by the sister Geo that we got tickets to the UFC fight. Cody No Love versus TJ Dillashaw. Big fan of the UFC. I've been watching it for a long time, but a bigger fan of my man Cody No Love. So uh, flew down here for the weekend, bought my ticket, just landed here at Barber Brigade. Bart is working till like four. It's probably about 2.30. I'm gonna get a quick workout in. Probably uh, full body, just because I don't got time. This week gonna train the rest of my shit. So full body. So what's up? Oh, side oh, like. Fight, dude. Oh, and then uh, legs, upper body, cardio, fine bar, eat some food. Uh, I'm gonna go say what's up, then I'm gonna go work out. What's up, fellas? You all know I love coffee. Let's see if we get a little tripod action. Nope, look at that hair. I love coffee. And Starbucks is already overpriced and not that good. Like, I'll drink it, I'll drink it. I'm not like a snob, I'll drink it. If that's where everybody's going and that's the only thing around. But it's already overpriced. Talk about a Starbucks from the airport. You're looking at a $10 coffee. I might as well drink and shit gold for a living. Uh, like I said, a little bit of bench, some chin-ups, pull-ups, get some arms going. Just impress Bart for dinner. He's my date tonight. And then uh, maybe cardio. I don't want to do cardio, but we'll probably hop on the assault bike. Got to keep the lungs kicking. Some with cardio. With tra strength training too, you can get detrained pretty quick, you know, to be at your prime. Um, you won't lose all your strength if you stop lifting for a week. But the more you lift, the more you do cardio, you gotta, you gotta stay, it'll allow you to stay in shape, right? So um, that's why people don't take 10 days off before a meet, you know? Taking three, four, five days, depending on your frequency normally is gonna be a better idea. Cause you gotta keep some conditioning up, um, motor pattern and, and, and the fatigue on the muscles as well. Uh, and conditioning is even more so. You take a week off conditioning, your lungs will start burning. So uh, I gotta keep that conditioning up so when I go back home, I can really start start doing some cool things conditioning wise so I'll try to get some footage for you and then uh, I'm digging sushi I text Bart about dinner I want sushi in my suburb in Sacramento there's not a lot of good sushi good sushi uh, uh, in Sacramento in general just California we got all kinds of food but in the suburb I'm in so that's why one I'm trying to move downtown so we can stream and do daily vlogs for you but two I'm trying to move downtown because that's that good ass food and you know we like food welcome to the vlog yeah yeah this hair bro Kids outside said they like the mullet. I should have got that on camera because all you guys hating in the comments out there, they said, Mike, I like the mullet. <clears throat> We're digging the stash. I said, I said, yeah. I said, oh. One hour done. Bench press, just getting back into it. We'll see if we can continue. Felt okay on my shoulders. Um, we'll just see if it's something I want to keep going. Obviously, felt weak. It's a movement pattern I haven't done in a while, but uh, five sets of three. Four sets of three, 275, and one set of five. I haven't eaten much today. I had some jerky and a protein bar, so it is what it is. Moved on to a little bit of uh, lower body. So we had the pitch shark, which is my favorite. Some belt squat machines are fine, but they feel clunky. Nothing's better than a pitch shark. I'm not endorsed, but would love to be there. They're the best belt squat machine that I've ever tried. And I've tried every company that I can think of. Pitch shark feels the most natural, the most comfortable on the legs and the waist. Uh, moved on to some chin ups. Just body weight, one set. Uh, I was near like 15 next set short breaks just cuz one time crunch to the style I'm training I'm letting my ADD flow like I told you guys uh, normally today would have been um, uh, Lower body day, but we have a huge project Monday that I'm gonna do lower body for uh, Vlog coming soon, so be sure to uh, subscribe and notify for that I got the biggest part biggest partnership I've ever had as a creator as a youtuber as a podcaster coming Monday, so um, I had to save my lower body workout for that shoot Chin-ups felt good. Yeah, so I'm doing the upper body purely because that lower body is gonna be on Monday. I wanna be semi-fresh because I wanna hit it hard and it's gonna be a long shoot, probably be a couple hours worth. Now that I'm gonna be squatting or deadlifting heavy, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of things. Sleds, probably some strongman stuff, some conditioning, some squats, um, just a lot of stuff. So I wanna be semi-fresh, uh, but I wanna get my workout in. So then we did uh, chin-ups, a little bit of side raises, tricep, bicep, and then just a, a moderate, moderate assault bike. Hopefully you guys can hear me over this music. Uh, just talked to Bart. Nadim's on the way to pick me up. I'm a little sweaty. Uh, might change, might not, but I'm ready to eat, man. I'm hungry. So, again, we're down here for the UFC fight. I understand why now. You know, I did all, all the Olympia, the Arnold, all that shit for like six years, every single expo, and I'd never want to work out because I had a powerlifter's mentality. And I'd see all these other influencers who work the same booth as me, influencers or, or whatever the fuck we are. I don't know what to call us. Businessmen? 
entrepreneurs, whatever the hell, people, other YouTubers and shit, uh, they would always go work out afterwards. But the difference in mentality is that I was training. I had a, a, a exact progression that I wanted to get to, and if I couldn't do that, I wanted to, I needed to perform in the gym. I had certain numbers I want to hit, certain reps and certain volume. But when you're just like, not that bodybuilders or, or other goals don't need this, but it's a little looser. Like for my goals right now to look a little bit better and get a little bit leaner, all I need to do is work out. And in my head, the definition is one, one, you put in a good amount of effort, get some stuff done, that's a workout. Training is you have to put in a high performance to reach your next goal for your next workout for your ultimate goal. Not that, that, that the ultimate goal of weight loss and stuff is different, but I could get a good pump, a good workout, and then just worry about my nutrition and stay on track. If powerlifting, if you have a shit workout because you've been staying on your feet all day, it could derail other workouts. Just a thought process, because normally I have a crappy workout with no food and a bunch of travel, but overall that felt pretty good. I got a good sweat, a nice little pump, and I'm feeling good. So, working out now instead of training, I guess. So we're down here, UFC. I don't know if you guys follow UFC or not, but um, one of the biggest teams of UFC is Team Alpha Male. They won Team of the Year, uh, and they happen to be in Sacramento. So a lot of hometown guys flying down here because Cody No Love represents Sac. Sacramento is one of the best teams, Team Alpha Male, a bunch of local people, and the big fight this weekend is Cody No Love, who's a buddy of mine. He's one of the main fighters from Team, no, uh, from team Alpha Male in Sacramento, um, run by Uriah Faber and some other people. Notable names, Joseph Benavidez, Danny Castillo, TJ Dillashaw, who's fighting for the belt, used to be on that team. So there's some inner drama because um, Team Alpha Male, Cody, some of these guys felt betrayed by TJ leaving the team and how he did it. Um, and there's some background drama. So this is not only for the belt, but these guys actually don't like each other. So it's a really, really big fight. It's cool because I get to go with Bart and Gio, who are two of my best friends, but also Bart and David So, who are really in MMA uh, and UFC. I don't know anything about fighting. I've watched the UFC for years now. I used to watch with my dad and my homie Chris Vega, shout out to Vega, uh, at my house and just casually watch. I've never done a combat sport or anything related in my life, right? I've literally just did basketball, but my great uncle in the 50s uh, was a pro fighter. He's in the uh, Boxing Hall of Fame for California. He fought for the belt a couple times. Um, so there's some fighting in my blood. Just not my blood. I'm a lover, not a fighter. There's bugs everywhere down here. Um, so. Short story on that. Yeah, a little bit of fighting in my blood, but not me, man. I'm a lover. I don't want to fight nobody, but I am a fan of UFC, so I'm excited to watch. Comment below. You probably already know by the time to vlog out. Comment below, I guess, who won. I guess I'll know, too, but we'll all know. Excited to go. Hopefully, we get some sushi. I need to eat something healthy because I want to have a beer or chill tomorrow at the fight. So, uh, hopefully, healthy food today. Sleep. Let's go find Bart. Hold my Uber XL. This handsome devil showed up. Hola. If you guys don't know, he dropped his YouTube video, so go check that out, or his channel. The third relaunch of his yeah, fucking channel. Re -re is, it, relaunch. is it actually real now? Are you here to stay, dude, or are you? Dude, I've been, alright, so I've been uploading, uh, fuck, by the time this video comes out, this is my, like, 18th video. Uh, back, three days a week. Go to his channel, and, go to his channel and fact check that. Make sure there's 18 videos. 18 videos since, uh, July 1st. Okay. Since the day this guy competed, That's I dropped That's pretty good. Video. 18 videos all of July. Yeah, I haven't missed a day. I have Good. videos till the end of September already ready, prepped. Talk about crazy stuff. When Talk are you gonna feature me, dude? You were on my channel. I don't know, but like a channel? full feature. Not Wait, like, have you been on my channel at all? Yeah, with Fortnites. But that was with Padilla and all those other guys. Oh. I need that full feature. I, I'll be when your you, taste tester. When do you, when you go? Oh, when I get I my kitchen. Ones. Yeah, yeah. When I get my kitchen, all right. you can all, me and Connor will help you shoot it, and then I'll be the official taste tester of whatever beautiful meal you make. All right, here, this is what we're gonna do. Can you make a, a I need a gourmet chicken nugget. You got for me, homemade. I love chicken nuggets. I'll bro. make you the best chicken nugget you've ever had in your life from scratch. Yeah, I want that. And this is a bet, and you you have to be hundred percent honest. I'm do. I'll if be I honest. If I don't make it, like you have to be like, no, this wasn't it, and I lose the challenge. Yeah, I'll tell you it's a doo doo, and then and then we'll do like a push up or a something, some kind of yeah. some kind of loss. We're going to a we'll Korean barbecue. Push -up? Nah, a push up contest or shot or not shot. a push up, like <laughs> a fucking I penalty. I we'll, penalty right, is the word we'll I'm thinking of. We'll, we'll chug a whole bottle of alcohol. No, dude, I'm not trying to kill you when you make the worst chicken nugget I've ever had. <laughs> I'm down. I just want to have fun. I'm down too. I'm trying when to I, have a beer. When I hit, hit 50,000 subscribers, yeah. Uh, hopefully within like a month, I'm gonna do uh, uh, 500 shots and I can't move. Uh, 500 uh, shots? What are you talking uh, no, about? A paintball. People shoot. Oh, people oh, dude, sign move. me up for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never actually shot a paintball gun. I don't think. I look good in this camera. When'd you switch cameras? We just got it. Is this the six or the five? five. Yeah. I have the five. Yeah. It looks good though. 
Yeah. It's just so I could vlog like more personal, so I could fit the, the people could feel me, and I could feel the people. And I then, always like this better than like the bigger one. I think so too. And then Connor, when he travels with me, will get B-roll on his nice one, yeah. and then he can just throw it all together and make it look cool. But but I'm down here solo. I hate this angle because it. Makes no, you look fun. great, dude. You look I great. Sit like this. <clears throat> well, I think you should shave uh, head and uh, a beard and go stash with me, dude. Stash. The 90s are coming back. I'll shave my beard once because uh, I'm losing weight right now. Yeah. And I shot a bunch of like comedy videos in terms of weight loss. You can't be a funny comedian, I've heard. Uh, when you're skinny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Jonah Hill failed. Oh, when you start fat and then lose weight. Yeah. Uh, well, David So is losing a lot of weight. So and and no, no, he's not funny at oh, all. Oh, he's not funny? I fake he laugh sucks. his content. Yeah. No, yeah. so I laughed yesterday because the, the, I think like last week he posted this video of him like laying naked in the, yeah, um, yeah. In the pool. Um, but he was fat in that picture because it was an old picture, so that's why I laughed. Yeah, because he's way he funny. David, what are you doing, man? Eat like shit when I travel. It's one of my weaknesses. I love good food, and LA is full of good food. But this time, we're going to stay on par. So we're at Korean barbecue. I'm going to go basically carbless, although I've never eaten anything today. So I'm going to go kimchi, bunch of meat, a little bit of rice, because tomorrow we have, you know, what these fat kids call a refi day. I'm going to have a couple beers. What? I'm going to watch Cody No Love knock the shit out of TJ Dillashaw. Okay. I'm predicting it. And uh, uh, Mighty Mouse is going to put a highlight reel on this poor kid and also going to be one of the best knockouts of all time. Mighty Mouse with a knockout, Cody No Love with a knockout. I don't know who else is fighting, but those two fights are both going to be knockouts. And I'm going to be front row, hammer drunk. Oh, you're front row? I think we're on the floor. Unless Gio's pulling my leg. What? She said we're on the floor. I thought it was just like you guys get to watch the fight <laughs> like in the back. I think we're I think we're cruising, dude. I don't know. You got to buy it. Hopefully you guys saw me there. Comment below if you saw me in the pay-per-view. <laughs> Look, dude. Why'd you invite your best friend to the UFC fight? Let the people know, dude. Look, Gio's the one with the tickets, and you chose me. There's what a billion, three billion people on the planet, and you chose me. So I don't tell them how much you, how much money you gave me. No, dude. Don't I'm lie. Rolling? Don't lie right now. No, we're not rolling, dude. Oh, so what am I? Supposed so you can to tell them the truth. That we're not rolling. Is that what you want me to say? Yeah. Okay. Tell that me you want to rolling. spend the best UFC with me. Tell me when we're rolling, and I'll say. All right, dude. We're rolling. Yeah, I totally um, invited Mike because um, we're friends. Aren't you supposed to be an actor? Yeah, you want me to act? Oh my god. Like, okay. make it good. Believable, uh, at least. If you're going to lie to the people, make it good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, so, I invited Mike from the bottom of my heart. Are you going to cry? Yeah, tears. Did you smell a fart? What is that face? I was trying to cry. <laughs> but you can't because you're honestly excited to hang out with me. I didn't rehearse these lines, dude. Because I don't know what do you want me to say? You want me to say that? She's excited to hang out with me, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you paid me for these tickets. I don't know why you want me to lie. I would just bought my own. Your logic doesn't make sense. Yeah, then why didn't you? What the hell? Because you invited me. You want to hang out with me? Somebody like Mike, I want nothing more than hang out with you at this UFC. Oh, you see, now this whole online, knows you're so full You said this whole yeah. online act of me hating you is just an act. I want to hang out with you. I said, all right, dude. It sounds like a great time. All right, ask anyone else at this table. They don't care about us. <laughs> see, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit what's, go they don't give a shit what's going on. This is what it takes to be Instagram famous. You wouldn't know, bro. Get I know, that's why I'm asking. Dude, you lost like 40,000 followers. I never had <laughs> 250. It's because people talk about me on JK News, but never shout me out. Are those good? Yeah, thank okay. you. Hey, stay off the lawn. Dude, yeah, I'm off the lawn, dude. Are you coming with us? Let's go buy some suits, bro. Let's get oh, really? fitted. Let's do some grown man shit together. Boy yeah, time. When was the last time you wore a suit? <laughs> Honestly, I think yeah, so. gotcha. a suit like or like dress pants or anything. I guess any of it. I went to a funeral. <laughs> like no, <two> ago. <laughs> don't bring it up, Mike. <laughs> Trying uh, to make me the bad guy. No, but besides that, uh, another funeral. That's it, right? Same with me. Yeah, I mean, what else is there? For? My uh, I didn't even, even for the wedding. I didn't wear anything nice. My high school basketball coach. Is I didn't even wear anything nice for my wedding. Yeah. So, when's the last time you wore a suit? The last time, uh, I think for Casey and Tiff's. Uh, they had like a, what their LA like version of a wedding. Yeah. Did you go to the 
No, Jill was uh, pregnant, okay, yeah, so I couldn't get on the plane. But I had a suit from before. Oh, I gotta get that tailored. I was a little bit heavier. Like 220. Now you're skinny, sexy. What do you look for in a suit? You got some fashion sense. What are you looking for? Anything? Whatever. So the, I go with some basics that my dad taught me. So he's okay, like a here good it is. suit. Yeah. Like usually if it's made out of good wool, you go like this, right? Yeah. And if you let go, there's no wrinkles. Okay. So that's the basics. So that shows good wool. That's good wool. And okay. then most places like this will have good wool. Other than that, it's just a fitment. And so, so your dad's in the stores is crumbling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. This is like, like that, like Jason Penny is going oh, yeah. it's, it's like the, the Russell Peter once he comes and rips it. It's like, oh, how much now? <laughs> the odds is all wrinkled. What about like arm. different cuts or something? Uh, there's like the slim fit ones, I guess. Yeah. And That's all you're into? No? no oh, okay. No worries. You're going to go look somewhere else? For a two-piece well, gray? How, how much are you looking for? No, I'm just looking, I just want a, a light gray Yeah, one. and two-piece, not three-piece. Not three-piece. What, what if you just rock the vest, bro? You could rock the vest, no jacket. It comes with the punch. They already, like, yeah, yeah. marked it in. Rip it, and then... Like, this would be... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this would be cool. I like this color. That is nice. Yeah. And then, I think uh, you could go shirt, vest, no jacket. You'd look nice. Especially a summertime wedding. I think you can pull that at a summertime wedding. No, but I like the jacket. It okay. It look like complete. That's why I've never... <clears throat> I've never worn a suit probably in... Shit. Follow me. I probably haven't worn a suit ever. Maybe one party I've ever. Do you want to check out a suit or not? No, 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 I'm good. You should, uh, I, I, you should lift in a suit. So my high school basketball coach was with him, so he dressed up for every game. And so when I assisted him, yeah, prostitutes? No, like you know, like a cool dude. Oh, okay. why don't you say cool dude? <laughs> my high school basketball coach <laughs> was a cool dude. dude. <laughs> He's real groovy. And so every game he dressed up. He liked to look professional, like a pro team, you know, like. Phil Jackson, all these people dress up. And when I assisted him for the five years, I first game I wore like a jumpsuit, like because some people wear like like you know like an old Adidas jumpsuit. That's kind of yeah. coaching. Yeah. But then I was like, he looks so good. He's jacked. You know, yeah. I was like, all right. So then I went shirt and slacks. So you used to check him out. Yeah, dude, you check out guys. You see what guys are. You're wearing. checking out cool dudes. <laughs> dude, How old is he? He's like now probably fifty. Oh, now. Yeah, yeah. Then probably forty ish. I'm yeah. old. But so so I'd go I'd go slacks button up twice a week I was dressing up but like my dad and like normal people they wore a suit Thanks, man. they wore a suit like tie suit jacket every single day it's a hundred degrees out yeah I can't do that Tony Tones what's the most you would spend the most yeah on a suit or anything 1800 probably like 800 800 just because of the ones that I was looking at, I was like around there. That feels good. Feels like a price range. Some things yeah. just feel right. Like a two hundred dollar pair of sneakers just feels right. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I probably wouldn't spend eight hundred yeah. or five hundred. I mean, I've seen suits that are like three grand. I've never tried them on, yeah. so I wouldn't know. Like, how do these sleeves? I'm not like a stockbroker. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did you see that? That's a great yeah, sleeve. That's a good. good. <laughs> that's a good ass I, sleeve, bro. It's, it's a, uh, a <laughs> eighteen hundred dollar yep, sleeve, it's worth bro. It, yeah. it's a proof. Pops was right. How do we end up here, dude? Dude, I don't know. I was like, I want to tie it. I'm the only one making progress in Kaizen. Look, have you like, seen my abs? Let me see. No progress. Dude, I'm lean. You see these veins? No. I have th leg veins? <laughs> you don't have anything. Nadine's already eating. <laughs> I got a small cup. Connor, don't fuck up this edit. To make this spicy, dude. Right now. It's probably the lighting. Okay. 